So this jack, it's an FIC 3500 on a Jayco 2016, won't go up or down. Now I, I could jump you right to the uh, solution, which is this fuse, this 30 amp fuse. But you see that, that that fuse and the wires that are attached to it in the fuse holder are in the midst of a lot of electrical wiring. There really is a lot of electrical wiring on the front end of this trailer, including everything that's here. So I want to show you the circuit for that fuse and how it affects the, the functioning of this jack. Okay, so we only have one wire going into this jack. So I took three screws out, one on the other side, and I looked inside. So what we have is this is the black wire that's coming up from here. So this is the one wire coming into the jack. And I can see it traveling up to, and I'm really glad that I took this cover off so you can see some of the other mechanisms involved that could give you trouble with the jack. But here's a circuit breaker. And that black wire is attached to the circuit breaker on this terminal and goes through the breaker and comes out on this wire here. This one right here. This is the wire here. Okay. So we have it through a circuit breaker. Now I know this is hot and this is power. Um, this is my power line because I also, this switch is for the light. There's a light on this jack right here. And this switch is for the light and it taps into uh, this power line. Comes up here, this power coming through this red, through this wet wa red wire down into the switch. When the switch for the light is thrown, to on it comes up through the switch from here through the switch and up on this red wire and goes down into the light and is attached to the light now that's helpful because now I ha I know that these little wires are what's powering these little red wires are the positive 12 volts that is going down into the light and so I need a neutral to complete the circuit. And so I find it on this little black wire. Now this little black wire is attached to this terminal on the, the jack control switch. Okay, right here. So I know this is neutral. And so that what that does is it tells me this yellow wire is neutral because that's it, they're, uh, uh, they're connected into the same connector. So here's my neutral for the jack, okay? Here's my neutral wire. Here's my positive wire right here, okay? And so I ha I'm like, okay, well now I have blue. I have blue coming out of the switch for the jack and I have red. One of these is up and one of them is down. So depending on how you throw the switch, up or down, it will, will control where power, 12 volt power goes to the jack, either through the red or the blue wire. So this is some kind of a, um, I mean, the only, I would say the switch is like a, a single pole. I think it's a single pole double throw switch is what they would call this. Um, so, you know, it has one contact, which is power going to double or two uh, possible wires to control up or down of the motor. So we have switches here. And uh, this is worth seeing because, you know, you can look at some of the components that could cause you trouble with getting power to this motor to operate this jack. You might have problems with the switch, the switch or the breaker. But I am sure that my problem is with this fuse. And I'm going to show you that this, uh, this fuse is broken but I'm also going to show you that I know that the power to the jack actually runs through this fuse. The point of the fuse in the circuit is to, is to protect it, uh, the motor, from a surge of power or for a backflow of power from the motor uh, to the circuitry or the, the uh, electronics that are in the rig from coming back from the motor. 
so that, that, that you need a fuse to protect uh, the components in the rig and in the jack. And I'm sure that this fuse is broken because you can see in, inside the transparent part of this fuse, there is a wire inside there, inside that green part that connects these two terminals on the top of the fuse. And if it's broken, then the fuse is bad. So as you can see right now, it doesn't work. We're going to put in a new fuse. Take this old one out, 30 amp, put this new one in. So the purpose of the rest of this video is to show you the circuit. Um, how do I conclude that this fuse is attached to the jack? So I want to show you the circuit um, that flows from this power line. And it actually finds its way through this fuse. It's another protection. So we're going to trace it. We know this is our black power line that comes up into the jack I can see the motion of this black wire it's controlled by my moving this particular wire so then that black wire comes down is connected to what is a pink and white wire but it's actually a red wire it's just faded from the Sun and I know that because when I go into this jacket this conduit uh, protector, the wiring harness protector. All these wires are going through it, so they become hidden. So I come up here, and I recognize that when I open up this jacket, that I find my red wire. It's underneath there. Let's see it. So it comes up here. It fades again from the sun. Comes out of the wiring harness. I loosened up this uh, strain relief so that I could actually move the red wire, you know, start to see some of the motion of the, of the wires inside of this, uh, inside of this junction box. You can move the wires a little bit e more easily once you take some of the strain relief by, uh, letting off on some of these screws. So this red, that's kind of pink because it's faded as well, comes in, you can see that it's red here and it's coming down into this cap here. Goes into the, goes into the cap and connects to the green wire, comes out of that green wire and into this fuse. And then it comes back through this green wire out of the fuse and comes back over here into this cap where there's a black wire. Now this black wire, that's connected to this black wire here that goes back into the harness, travels up through the harness and goes up. This is it, the thicker of the two wires and it comes up here and connects to the positive terminal of the battery. So that's your circuit. So a quick trace in the opposite direction from the actual positive terminal of the battery. Here's our black wire. Comes down off of the positive terminal, runs through the conduit on its way to the uh, jack, right? Comes through the um, this uh, strain relief gauge into this, um, Junction box, the black comes here where it meets the, the green wire of the fuse, runs through the fuse, comes back here, catches the red, 
runs back on the red up th through the conduit comes to this point where it actually through this uh cap uh goes to a black wire and this black wire runs up to the jack so if this um if this video was useful to you just for learning how to trace wires um, and understand the circuitry uh, for powering jacks, uh, we'd really appreciate it if you would uh, like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Light works too.